Jupyter, it's a brilliant coding environment to perform data science tasks as we all know it. But recently, I made this change and I was introduced to a whole another world. This is Jupyter Lab. I have recently switched to it after working for years on Spider and Jupyter Notebooks and I tell you, this was a really good change. So Jupyter Lab has all the features of Jupyter Notebook with some much needed upgrades. And trust me, you will love working on data science tasks in Jupyter Lab. So after watching this video, you will want to migrate to Jupyter Lab straight away. So let's get into this. So let me be honest with you. The key thing that made me transition from Jupyter Notebooks to Jupyter Lab was the themes. So as you can see, Jupyter Lab is in a dark environment and you can toggle with the themes or play with the themes uh, right up here. So if I want to go into a light theme, I can go up here. But you know, if you are a programmer, why would you even need a light theme? And this is supported natively in Jupyter Lab. In Jupyter Notebooks, however, this is not supported, although you can achieve this by going to some third party extensions like this one. But since it's not a native support, so it's not going to look a lot better as compared to Jupyter Labs. So Jupyter Lab provides a nice interface and you can find everything under one roof. So this is the launcher page, what, what, what you first see when you open Jupyter Lab. And if you go to the left side and click on this one, you can see all your files and folders at this one particular location. You can also look at the running kernels at the moment and the open tabs by clicking, clicking at the second option. The reason Jupyter Lab is again better than uh, Jupyter Notebook is you can open multiple files or multiple notebooks, but instead of them opening in different tabs of a browser, they're going to stay in the same tab. Let me show you what I mean. So let me just open a few notebooks. So this is one notebook. This is second notebook. This is uh, let's say third notebook. So as you can see, they are not getting opened in different tabs of the browser. However, in case of uh, Jupyter Notebook, if I open them, then they are going to open in different tabs. And sometimes that kind of annoying to, you know, kind of get a hold of everything. Now you can see the dark mode, right? It's pretty bad. Jupyter Lab also provides the option to have flexible layouts. So let's say if I open the terminal up here, let me open a few files, a pipe file, a text file. Now I can arrange these files and arrange the layout whichever way I want. So I want to keep open only one notebook. So I'll just put it like here, let's say, and the terminal I wanted at bottom, the pipe file I wanted right here and the txt file, let's say I want it here. So you can see I've arranged the layout according to my feasibility and I can even reduce or increase the size in whichever way I want. Pretty cool, right? You can also open files directly from Jupyter Lab, and I'm not talking about only CSV or Excel files, but also images and PDFs. So let's say if I go to pictures, uh, here are my thumbnails. So if I open this one, you can see I can directly open it up here. I can uh, increase, again, move it to any location that I want. You can also open the other files up here. So if I go back to the main folder and let's look up some data. So let's say if I open the bang.csv file, as you can see, this file is opening as a table. But if you open this file in Jupyter Notebook, then it's going to open as comma separated values, a text file. Basically, it's not good to look at. It looks like a clutter here. So let's do one thing. Let's shut down all the kernels. Yes. And close all the tabs at once. This is again a handy feature that comes to great use when you are working on multiple things at once. Jupyter Lab also provides you uh, an opportunity to look at one notebook from different angles or different views. So let's say we open SQLearn cookbook and what I can do is I can right click here and click on new view for notebook. So it's going to open another notebook for me I and mean the same notebook, but I can look at different aspects here. And if I change anything in this notebook, then it's going to make change in this notebook as well. So let's say if I create a cell up here, which says import pandas as PD. So it's going to do that. So if you want to look at different parts of code or different cells of the same notebook, this is again a handy feature that comes to play. But the thing that I love the most apart from the dark theme in Jupyter Lab is you have the console feature here. Yeah, that's right. If you go to Jupyter notebook and if you want to, let's say, start a console, a Python console, you cannot do that because you don't have any option for that. But in Jupyter Lab, we have that option. So if I go here and click on plus, I can open up a console. And this is just like 
a python prompt basically but this is not the reason why consoles were introduced or included in jupyter lab i'll show you the why they were included so let's say i'm working on this notebook and i want to try a different set of code in this one or maybe i want to run some different commands and what i can do is i can click anywhere in the notebook and just click on new console for notebook so what it's going to do is all the things and all the variables all the codes that i have written up here would be present in this console and i can run some temporary commands to do some analysis of my own so let's say i want to uh, check the shape of x up here so this code has been already run so if i run x dot shape then it's going to give me the answer up here and when you don't need it you can just close the console it's not going to make any any impact on the original notebook that we have here jupyter lab also provides the opportunity to run code directly from a text file yeah not a py file yeah that's right i'm saying that you can run code directly from a text file so let's say let's say we have this uh, text file what i can do is i can right click and select create console for editor let's say you want a python 3 console and if i want to run a particular statement or a particular command uh, let's say i want to run this import command i can select this and press shift enter so it's going to run that command in the console below and that this console again is specifically associated with this text file that we have up here yeah are you getting started to like jupyter lab no okay if all these things uh, didn't work on you and you still think that jupyter notebook is the best <sighs> i can do anything so just do one thing just go to the home page and replace lab by tree and you'll be at your place but still i would request you to give jupyter lab a try okay so this was it for this video if you think this was insightful give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye